You're listening to Control Talk Now with your host, Ken Smyers and Eric Strachan. Hi, this is Eric Stromquist with Control Talk Now, your control news of the week for the week ending March 17th. I'm here with my co-host, the one, the only, the man from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Ken Smyers of the Smyers Company. Kenny, welcome. Thank you, Eric. Glad to be back. So what do we have up first, Kenny? Well, uh, the news of, of the week. We have uh, People First, uh, and you're going to tell us about the Momentum 2013 in Arizona. Kenny, I tell you what, what, what a great conference. Uh, let's start with the location. Uh, it was at the Arizona Biltmore, which, as you know, is a Frank Lloyd Wright hotel. It was absolutely gorgeous. I mentioned last week I would snap some pictures, put them up on Control Trends, got a little video that you can go to Control Trends and see just what a great location Honeywell picked for this. So, so it was kind of cool, Kenny. They, uh, they didn't focus much on products, uh, with the exception of... Uh, Mike Keller's group uh, and the residential thermostat, the, the Prestige, they've redesigned that look. They were rolling it out. I tell you what, one sexy thermostat. So they seem to really, really be uh, rocking and rolling. And I think our friend uh, Quint did a post uh, last week on the thermostat wars. And sure did. right into that, yeah. Yeah, uh, Clint did make a post on the five thermostats. Uh, the Honeywell Prestige midlinks uh, are taking a very, very serious uh getting the attention of the market now and it's because of the Honeywell marketing but the product itself and the website and the support and the program they have to uh, to develop it and increase its market yeah and I think it's, it's kind of great because as you know Mike Keller won the 2012 uh, along with Chris Eichmann a tie for the 2012 control trends executive of the year uh, right before he won that award he got transferred over to a promotion in a new division and already seeing his thumbprint on it he is really doing a great job so uh uh, I, I think Honeywell definitely has the lead in the thermostat wars for 2013. All right. So uh, what else happened out there in 2013? Well, like I said, Kenny, they didn't focus much on the products. What they really focused on uh, was how to present uh, the whole energy package, the smarter building, the more intelligent building, that whole package. They were really training the contractors and the distributors and their own personnel uh, in different ways to present that in ways that we can be more effective in, in taking this message to the marketplace. And they had three great speakers, Kenny, uh, that, that, that sort of went along with that. The first was a guy named Mark Jewell. I never heard Mark speak before. And, you know, as you know, I'm a sales junkie. I've been to every sales course possible. And I didn't really think there was much I could learn. But this guy, Kenny, is he was off the chain. So, um, you know, I highly encourage anybody uh, that gets the opportunity to go hear this Mark Jewell guy. Uh, we'll put a link to his website below. A uh, couple of concepts the guy had is, is one, he, he uh, recommended a book called The Challenger Salesperson. Uh, they've done studies in the past, they've done studies recently and the relationship builder and those type different types are not cutting it the way the challenger is. And basically that person challenges people's preconceived notions. So that was a theme that Honeywell sort of built on Kenny. And, uh, and from there, they created a program called their EEO program. And essentially what that is, Kenny, is Honeywell is, is providing Mark Jewell to do a day of training. So you learn about these sales techniques. And then on top of that, you have two days where they actually walk you through these energy tools that Honeywell has developed. So you can go in, you can analyze a building, you can analyze uh, you know, energy cost. And it allows you to put this in a format that you can go talk to a CFO, a CEO, uh, a building plant maintenance guy. And, and part of Mark's message, Kenny, was that you can't, uh, you can't sell all people the same. Everybody has different needs. And the other thing he was saying, Kenny, that's fascinating, he says there's at least 12 people involved in these decisions now. So he has a, a rule called the, the, the power of 12. And he's basically encouraging you, saying if you're not talking to at least 12 people regarding a project, you're probably missing it because the decision maker these days is usually not the person that purports to be the decision maker. Oh, well, it's good stuff. Uh, it's, it's always um, useful as salespeople to all take ourselves seriously as salespeople, but to have these kind of tools. And uh, Honeywell's really leaping forward. The video that they put out recently, uh, the entire control system comes together. It's a holistic approach. It starts out with the camera sensing the vehicle, 
it goes all the way into uh, setting the lights, the occupied set points. It's just really good stuff. So well done, Honeywell. Yeah, and, and you know, Kenny, we, we actually posted, I posted on Control Trends yesterday. We'll put a link below where you can see it. But yeah, Kenny, I think, I think they mislabeled it. I mean, they're calling it a day in the life, but really and truly, I think that it should be called uh, you know, what an intelligent or a smart building looks like because it, it really shows how everything integrates together and works together. And Honeywell really is dialed into this right now. They really, really are able to do this with their access and security and their lighting and everything else. So highly recommend that video. The other speaker they had was this guy named Eric Wall. And I don't really know how to describe this guy. Uh, we, other than the fact that he's one of the most inspiring people, I think unanimously, the three or four hundred people that were at this uh, this conference, you know, said Eric Wall was tremendously inspiring. Basically, what he does, Kenny, he uses art as a metaphor. Uh, he has some concepts I'd never heard. One's called Unthink, uh, which you know you just need to check this guy. We've got we'll have we have a post on Control Trends with links to uh, his TED Talk, for instance. He was on TED Talks, but uh, but basically this guy is painting on stage. And uh, I, I can't tell you this, it was one of the most profound lessons all of us had about taking risk and about being responsible. And he did this not by talking about it, but through a demonstration. So uh, don't want to give Eric Wall away other than the fact that please check this guy out. He is absolutely phenomenal. So, so Kenny, that just gave us all another perspective about you know taking a risk, doing things differently, not thinking too much about it. Well, there are times to actually think about it. Let me be clear. There are times to plan and strategize, and then there are other times you just hop in and you get it done. Eric, I heard they had a phenomenal closing speaker as well. Yeah, you know, as if these two guys weren't enough at the Honeywell Award Ceremony, the guest speaker was Jim Abbott. And, you know, Kenny, I mean, for our viewers, might not know who Jim Abbott is. You want, you want to give him a little bio on Jim? Well, I did meet Jim, and I didn't go to the Momentum, but I remember from baseball, uh, the Olympics. I remember the inspirational, uh, you know, he'd throw it and then put his glove on after he, he threw the pitch. He was amazing. Uh, and uh, I know he's very successful, and he just kind of disappeared off the radar. Uh, so yeah, he, I, I knew he, of him, but was, I don't know much about him. Yeah, he was a guy that was born with, uh, w with only one hand, essentially. And he went on, Kenny, he was uh, a, a high school quarterback in football. Uh, he went on to pitch in baseball. He won when when the USA team won the Olympic gold medal. He pitched the final game. He went on to pitch professional baseball. Actually, had a no hitter for the Yankees. Wow. Phenomenal, phenomenal guy. Uh, so he had just a tremendous message uh, about sort of how to overcome what you perceive as your limitations and turn them into advantages. And I got to tell you, Kenny. I ran into this guy right outside the men's room, one of the nicest guys you'd ever, ever meet. So look, I just got to give Honeywell an A plus on the Momentum meeting. It was phenomenal. Great food, great speakers, great, uh, you know, great message. And uh, look for Honeywell to do great things. I mean, I think if the people that were there embrace, uh, you know, what Honeywell is trying to teach them, look for Honeywell to do some great things in 2013. Great. All right, uh, Eric, moving on to uh, the rest of the people. Part of the program, we have uh, John Petsy from Sky Foundry. His article that was featured on Control Trends. Uh, why don't you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, well, you know, John is a phenomenal guy. Uh, you know, Sky Foundry, for those who don't know, is is a tremendous graphical interface tool. So, um, but John is actually uh, one of the leaders, along with our friend Mark Petock of the Haystack 2013 Connect. It's the first time this conference has taken place. We've mentioned it before. Uh, it's taking place in Chattanooga, Tennessee. There's a link on Control Trends to that. And as a matter of fact, I have interviewed John Tamara Kenny, and we'll be talking more about Haystack Connect. But uh, but John is a uh, you know phenomenal guy, great leader in our industry, always interesting. So stay tuned next week for my interview with John Petsy from Sky Foundry. Great, and also you can register to, to attend that. And uh, what's interesting about the Haystack Connect is that it's by the community, for the community, and it's not a uh, vendor-specific event. It's it's outside of that that, uh, that sphere of influence. So it's a great and of course, connect of course, opportunity. And of course, the coolest thing about Haystack Connect is Kenny and I are going to be there. So uh, so any, anybody that tunes into Control Talk now or Control Trends would love to meet you at Haystack Connect. And just a tidbit on the Haystack, where the uh, definition or the meaning came from was like finding a needle in a haystack. Uh, they treat data like that needle. To go into the haystack, find that data and uh, extract it and make it useful. Eric, next up is products. Uh, 
We have uh, some interesting uh, information from uh, the global HVAC industry. Uh, we're going to peak $88 billion dollars between 2013 and 2014 with a 6% increase overall sales projected, uh, mostly in Asia, China, and India. So I'm hoping that after we gave Honeywell such a glowing, glowing review of the Honeywell Momentum 2013, they'll expand our territories where we can be in Asia and sell Honeywell over there. <laughs> Don't think nice. that's going to happen, but it's a nice thought. <laughs> All right. Uh, nuts and bolts wise, we have a new product that came out from ACI, the ALP2, a low pressure sensor that uh, they're very excited about that uh, I'm sure will do well in the market. Yeah, well, t tell our viewers a little bit. What, is, what, what makes that different, Kenny? Well, Eric, uh, the um, it's jumper selectable for analog outputs. Uh, everything you'd expect from the uh, the features, the range though is low, and the uh, the uh, repeatability. So it's a very accurate at low pressure. So uh, it's going to do well. Uh, there's a lot of information, and we have a link to that on Control Trends uh, nice. under New Products. So that, that'll be another uh, opportunity for people to explore that in, in detail. Yeah, and um, hey, Kenny, but real quick, now the other thing we can say about this company is, guess what? You're going to get great technical support on that product. How come? Well, uh, yeah, Barry Gordon, Barry the technical Gordon, support uh, co-winner. 2013 co-winner, the best technical support person of the world, as nominated by our Global Control Trends audience. Another reason why you should try that product. <laughs> also, uh, just going back to the uh, LP2 with the series, it has an easy-to-read display, which is a, a, a neat feature. So, um, moving on, Eric, uh, we go into the... Events. We have a lot of uh, events planned this week in, in March. Uh, the first one is the SmartCom, which is in Baltimore between uh, March 12th and 14th. Its uh, emphasis is on wireless, wireless communication. Yeah, well, I think wireless is the, uh, I mean, wireless is the big thing these days, Kenny, as you know. We, we both represent several companies that make great wireless product. Uh, we're seeing more and more of that. As a matter of fact, I was reading a blog over the weekend on the intelligent buildings, Kenny, and you know IBM is all was all over it. And one of the the two big trends that they say are going to happen in buildings to make them smarter is wireless technology and smart meters or submeters. Well, uh, wireless is just it's coming uh, like a, a freight train, and the, the products are coming in behind it. The Zigbee standard is getting stronger. The an Ocean standard is getting more acceptable, and the products now are, are starting to come together. So you can look at a zone, a room, and you put one device in it, and now you can connect to the an Ocean devices, the wireless devices, and then your BACnet protocol. So it's it's getting it's getting there. I mean, it's going to be easy to sell because it's going to be accepted and it's proven. So uh, look more uh, towards the wireless will become more and more important in your future. Oh, uh, next up, Eric, uh, we have the um, Hardy has a couple events uh, down in Florida, and uh, we developed a, uh, we discovered kind of a new uh, organization called the National Comfort Institute that's like Hardy, it's like AHR, it's a full-blown uh, organization of professionals that uh, have training on an ongoing basis around the country, so we'll be posting on that. And then that led me to discover women in the HVAC. Um, Leave it to you to discover women in the HVAC. You are just now discovering that, Kenny? No, it's a website, and it has a lot of really interesting uh, you know, things about the industry I did not know. So I don't want to give away the article that we're going to be posting, uh, or the blog we're going to be posting, but I would welcome all the uh, Control Trends community members to come back and take a look at that. It'll be very interesting. And So, Kenny, there was also a great post you did last week uh, with Candigo and Viconics. Tell our viewers about that. Well, it just shows that the... When you take uh, the wireless components and you put them together, it is a network now. It's a it, it can control an entire building. It's no longer just a, a easy uh, you know sensor to a transmitter or transceiver uh, receiver, uh, which we all were pretty familiar with. This is now going into hybrid applications that can take over an entire uh, you know facility, you know a large facility. Uh, and the these products are in Ocean, Zigbee. Uh, CAN bus and, and BACnet, which gives you all these options. So you, you can come in and put a controller into a hallway or into a room, and everything that's uh, you know compatible now is connected through that device. And you can bring it down into your uh, network and, of course, bring it on the web. So these are controllable down to the device level through uh, through these products. And uh, just, it's very easy to sell. Uh, you mentioned that Honeywell did a great job on giving you tools to sell. Well, we all know that's that's so important. When you're talking to people, you get a short period of time to tell them a whole lot. You have to talk about the return on investment. You have to give them a narrative that's very compelling that they're going to spend money, and we're all competing for those dollars. They're getting 
harder and harder to get, and so you have to be a better salesperson. And these tools are what what make that happen. That's how you're going to rescue the day and bring the sale home. Yeah, can to go is very very interesting what they have going on. And you know, when you mention, you know, one of the things I like to one of the things I like to say, Kenny, is that you know, there's never been a better time to be a building owner because you have so many choices, not just in products, but with companies to work with and systems integrators. And as this stuff becomes more fluid in terms of the technology and more and more contractors get trained on it. Uh, it's, it's a great time to be involved. So, and it, you know, hopefully that's what Control Trends does for a lot of these people is they're able to tune in and sort of get educated so they know what their choices are. But I know that uh, we have, talking about events, Mike Marston's coming back to town and I think he's going to be at the uh, Haystack Convention. And Mike, for those of you guys who might not remember, uh, is the main guy at EasyIO. And EasyIO actually won the 2012 DDC Control Word of the Year. So uh, it's a great time to be an owner in this business. It's a great time to be a contractor and a great time to be a distributor. Very well said, Eric. So with that, Kenny, uh, what, what can our viewers look forward to next week? Well, as I mentioned, we have uh, several posts. We have John Petsy coming, uh, your interview with John. We have uh, a couple of articles that are going to be very interesting. Uh, we're going to continue the thermostat updates uh, and, and all the good work being done out there. So if anybody's aware of something that we don't know, please let us know through uh, comments. But uh, we're going to continue following that very closely. And then the, uh, the women in the HVAC. It's a very interesting article, and it's uh, very informative. Okay, Kenny, and I think the other thing, we will continue our series on the BACnet tutorial. Thanks to our friends at Contemporary Controls for that. An excellent, excellent series if you haven't been following that. I think we've got five uh, of those tutorial uh, videos up. They're short, they're sweet, very concise. So, again, thanks to our friends at Contemporary Controls for that. And, Kenny, I think there you have it. You're now back in the loop for the week ending March 17th. 2013. I'm Eric Stromquist with Stromquist and & Company, and that is my uh, co-host, Ken Smyers with the Smyers Company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll see you on Control Trends next week, and if not, we'll see you on the Control Talk now. Indeed. <laughs>